Hi everybody. A little while ago I made a video about setting up your telescope mount using a compass to help you align to uh, north. I got a couple of comments regarding something called magnetic declination which is basically the difference between um, magnetic north and true north. Now I live in Gloucestershire and it's about one degree so yeah it's not so significant. Uh, one of the guys who commented however was from Australia and he said well they, they were getting more like nine degrees. Okay so type in magnetic declination into Google brings up uh, a page of results including the ever-present Wikipedia which right on the front page has a really nice graphic showing the difference between magnetic north on a compass and grid north or true north um, which is what we want for celestial north. It's also a map of the situation with the magnetic declination in 2015 shows the whole world which is really useful and uh, yeah first thing to note is the uh, green lines so you'll see one is pretty close to GMT here uh, there's another one also running through North and South America um, but look where the South Magnetic Pole is to the south of Australia and it really gets messed up around here lots and lots of lines the same is true also in the north so North Pole yeah, around uh, yeah, into Russia so I've just come back from a big trip I've been to Australia, Thailand, India um, got some great dark sky um, astronomy in whilst I was in southeast Australia um, Thailand was a waste of time because I was in Bangkok and so was Delhi and Chennai so uh, yeah Australia yeah the darkest skies I've ever seen and of course it's the southern hemisphere so that's completely different as well anyway back to the subject which is uh, magnetic declination so whilst I was traveling around um, I decided to take a few um, uh, readings myself to have a look at it in different places. Now there are a couple of websites you can use also to look at it for your local um, uh, magnetic declination um, but just to say the variation was between uh, 1 degree or 0 and 13 degrees. Huge. So what did I do? Yeah I've got this application on my phone called uh, PS or Polar Scope Align Pro excellent application by the way it does all sorts of things um, but one of the useful features it's got built in is a bubble level and compass and down on the right hand side uh, along the edge you'll see magnetic declination minus 1.2 degrees west for my home location the good news is there is a way in on an iPhone to uh, avoid this and actually I'll show you that now if you've got an iPhone um, you should also just check that under the compass settings that you've got the use true north selected not sure if you can do that on a Samsung by the way anyway Wikipedia tells you lots of stuff about magnetic declination uh, a really good site no oh, by the way um, that I noticed that Wikipedia is asking for a donation so uh, I think it's a great site so yeah no problem for me I, yeah just dropped a couple of quid on PayPal and I'd recommend you do the same as well. There's too many uh, ad based services out there these days everything is about tracking what you do uh, and it's really nice to have a, a site like Wikipedia that still stays free even if there are is occasional problems with the editing on it so um, yeah anyway <laughs> enough of the political speak um, I will be posting a few of the images I took of things like the Carina Nebula and um, other southern hemisphere objects in the next video. Thanks for watching, see you soon.